Good afternoon and salam Ibu Pertiwiku. The shadowy leader of the Daesh group claimed to appear for the first time in five years in a video released by the extremist group's propaganda arm on Monday, acknowledging defeat in group's last stronghold in Syria but vowing a long battle ahead. The man said to be Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi in the video also claimed the Easter Day bombings in Sri Lanka, which killed over 250 people, were part of the revenge that awaits the West. The video released by a media outlet run by the extremist al Furkan shows al-Baghdadi speaking with three men seated opposite him whose faces were covered. Despite numerous claims about his death in the past few years, al-Baghdadi's whereabouts remain a mystery. Many of his top aides have been killed mostly by U.S.-led coalition airstrikes. He is among the few senior Daesh commanders, still at large after two years of steady battlefield loses, that saw the self-styled caliphate shrink from an area the size of Britain to a tiny speck in the Euphrates River Valley. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres said, the plight of Muslims in China's Xinjiang region during a visit to Beijing last week. China has faced growing international condemnation for what it calls re-education and training centers in the remote western region, holding more than one million ethnic Uyghurs and other Muslims. Guterres, who was in Beijing on the sidelines of a summit on China's Belt and Road Initiative, however, raised the situation in Xinjiang during a separate meeting with the Chinese government's top diplomat Wang Yi. The UN High Commissioner for Human Rights, Michelle Bachelet, has repeatedly pushed China to allow the United Nations access to investigate reports of disappearance and arbitrary detentions, particularly of Muslims in the Xinjiang region. China has previously said it, wel it would welcome UN officials if they avoided interfering in domestic matters. And that is all for me. I'm Ms. Reni for TV Sarawak. Anytime, anywhere.